All right, welcome back to Turnbull Garage. So in this video, it's all about updates. I'm gonna be updating you on where I'm at and where we're going. Uh, let's start with the Mach 1. The Mach 1, uh, as you saw, had a couple of track days this summer, had a lot of fun with the car, but uh, it is coming to an end as the insurance runs out in eight days and this thing is basically set to hibernate for the winter. Uh, I've got it on this side of the garage, which is where it normally sleeps. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take it out anymore this year, so in all likelihood, it is sleeping for the year and back in the spring. Uh, let's talk about the wife's car, the 2015 Mustang. It has actually developed a problem where it's getting random check engine lights for some misfires, specifically a random and cylinder number eight. And I think it is the, I think it's called IMRC. Inside the intake manifold, there's some uh, uh, little flaps that open and close to lengthen or shorten the intake runners, depending on if you're high or low per RPM. There's a rod that actuates those and they typically snap. It's super common on the 15 to 17 Mustangs and I think that's what is wrong. So I will be pulling the intake manifold out of her car once the insurance runs out on it, which is also pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I'll be working on that. So that'll be a video coming out fairly soon. That's it for Mustangs. K-Trucks. I have not done a K-Truck video in a long time. And to be honest, I probably lost some subscribers as a result because K-Trucks is what got my, uh, my, my channel off the ground and uh, people really like the K-Trucks. So the sandbar, I am actually looking for two sandbars because my plan is to put a five liter Coyote engine in a sandbar. Uh, stupid fast, stupid power, uh, big tires, big brakes, that's what I wanna do. But I need two sandbars to do it uh, because I need to lengthen the frame and widen the frame to fit that all in there. I'm gonna make it a mid-engine a uh, little mini truck and widen it and everything. So that is something I'm planning to do. I don't know when it's gonna happen. I have an ad, like I say, in uh, a local uh, online buy and sell. We'll see what happens there. So that's it for vehicles. Uh, let's talk about me. Uh, I actually, I'm retiring here in a month and a half from my employer. I've done 35 years uh, with this employer and that is coming to an end and I'm gonna be moving on to a new chapter in my life after 35 years working in the same place. Uh, been a lot of fun, but it's time for me to move on. Um, talk about the house. Actually uh, doing a lot of painting in the house right now, painting the whole, in th whole inside because looking to sell the house sell the whole Turnbull garage here and move into something bigger. We're trying to find a larger lot that we can build a bigger shop, well, I can build a bigger shop, and store maybe an RV or a boat because uh, I'm running out of space in the property. I got lots of cars and I need a place to store them and still be able to work on stuff. So that is something that's happening right now, painting the house and getting it ready to sell. Uh, and lastly, I uh, actually went and got married. Um, you might be asking, well, you just did get married. Yeah, I did. If there's another video you may have seen, we got married down in Mexico last Halloween, but that was a ceremonial wedding, not legal. So we just had last weekend a small uh, intimate event with just the family and had a, a legal wedding. So Jenny and I are now officially legally married. So that's great. But uh, that's pretty much it for the updates on Terminal Garage. Like I say, not a quick video. Just want to let you know where we're at, where we're going, uh, and the fact that it's probably going to be dying down a little bit right now. And, oh, one more thing, podcast. The Turbo Garage podcast, as I talked a lot about uh, before, uh, tried to get that off the ground. It did kind of get going, but it kind of stalled out because the person that I'm working with at our local um, radio station, uh, he that was his side gig doing that. Well, he is now retired and focused 100% on the radio, radio Sydney. So when he gets back, we're gonna be from, he's just out of town. When he gets back, Turnbull Garage is gonna be coming up. Uh, I've got a sponsor ready to come on side and sponsor Turnbull Garage, gonna have guest speakers and everything. But that podcast will be coming up again. I don't know when, but it will be coming. So that's it for updates. That's where I'm at. Uh, so yeah, thoughts and comments down below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching and have yourself a great day.